Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name's Anthony, I'm from Active Essex, and I'm here to support you guys on what is National Fitness Day to launch our Active Essex Move With Us campaign. And Move With Us is all about you. It's all about making movements suitable to what you want to do. So there is no prescription, there is no set way of doing it. So today, I'm gonna to introduce you to a few movements that I like to do, that I want to do, that you might wanna come and join in with me. So we're gonna go on a little journey. We're gonna venture off to either a local park where you might find some outdoor gym equipment, or we might go to the local gym where actually you could take part in some activities. So come and join me and come and move with us. I'm gonna start off by venturing over to the gym or to the outdoor space. So I'm gonna get there by just going for a gentle walk. So just join me. We're just gonna lift our knees up one at a time and opposite arms, opposite legs. Almost like we are trying to mobilize those hands, almost like we're sprinting. Try and push up with your toes, try and lift those knees as high as possible. Try and keep that chest nice and high. Fantastic, good job. If you wanna add now a little bit of speed to that, you can. Again, I'm not gonna make you do it fast. I'm not gonna make you do it too slow. It's up to you. So just come and speed it up if you can. So start to lift those knees a little bit faster. Really push those toes into the ground. Fantastic, just like we're marching. Okay, if you wanna turn it into a bit of a jog, you can lift those arms. Again, try and keep that chest high. Fantastic, so we could jog, we could walk over to our park space or our gym space. We could also cycle, okay? So I want you to jump on your bikes, make sure your helmet's on, make sure you're safe. And I want you to either imagine you're holding onto your handlebars or just add that speed. So obviously if we're cycling, we're gonna get a little bit faster. As we're doing it, we're just gonna weave in and out. So just want you to jog and I want you to rotate your body. Just use your toes to push yourself in different directions. Good, you can slow it down or you can speed it up, it's up to you. And when I say freeze, almost like we're putting on our brakes, we're just gonna freeze on the spot. I'm gonna hold that position as if we're coming off of the seat of our bike. Ready, stop, and go. Fantastic, I want you to hold that, we're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds. Just neutralize ourselves in that position. Stop. Fantastic, brilliant, okay. We're starting to venture over to the park. We're nearly there. So I want you to try now, as you're getting over to the park, to think about how you might scoot. So thinking about a scooting position, again, if you wanna hold the handlebars, you can. We are hopping. So we're trying to make sure our leg is on the ground, slightly bent knee, and I just want you to do a little hop and a push up. So if we decide to do three or five on each side, switch over. This side's tricky for me. Try and be nice and strong, nice and stable. Lift that chest forward, push up with that toe. Three or five on each side. You could use your arms to make sure that you're held in position and balanced. Fantastic. Have a go on both sides again. Slow it down, take it at your own pace. So, we're gonna arrive shortly at the park. When we get over to the park, we're gonna do some gym style movements. We're gonna to start to work some different muscles. Now we've arrived at our outdoor gym space or our gym facility, and you undoubtedly will have sports centers and leisure centers close to you. I would advise you to ask, if you're interested in actually going to do gym classes, I would ask, go and knock on the doors of the gym, go with your grown-ups, go with your adults and see if you can find out. I know, for example, some of our Essex Everyone Active Centres, they offer a specific membership for 11, 11 to 15 year olds. So you can get involved in fitness classes, using some of the equipment, and maybe even within your school setting, you guys get the opportunity to do that as well. So we're gonna do some of that now as if we're in the outdoor gym or in that gym facility. So we're gonna work on our upper bodies to start with. We're gonna start with our shoulders, three parts of our shoulders. So we're gonna sit ourselves down on the equipment, first of all, as if we're sitting on a chair and we're gonna be pushing up, okay? So imagine you're holding those handles and we're just gonna push up. So nice and easy, we've got no weight to push up with. This is gonna get harder the more repetitions we do. If you have things like water bottles around you and you wanna just now grab yourself a water bottle in each hand, it's gonna give yourself a little bit of weight. Just make sure that your staff and your teachers around there are happy for you to do so. So just a little bit of weight will get you moving now. So at the moment, we're working on those front part of our shoulders, okay? So we're now gonna try to go to the sides. So we're gonna lift up, you might call these flies. So we're gonna start to lift up. So we're gonna now sit back, back on our chair. We're gonna go and lift our arms out. So again, if you've got things to hold, 
You could try and hold those, give yourselves a little bit of weight. But once more, we're now working on our sides here, our sides of our shoulder muscles. So we're gonna try and get that lateral movement to the side, okay? And our last one, imagine like you're skiing. You might have skied before, imagine you're holding onto the poles. Just be careful of space around you and behind you. We're gonna then go backwards, backwards. Really lift those arms, I'll show you there. Back as if you're lifting the poles back, backwards. So we've got three parts of our shoulders, our front, our sides, and our back that we're using here. I'm gonna go back to them. So let's do 10 of each, ready? Let's go. 10 of each. I think I counted 10. It's hard to do two things at once. As soon as you've done your 10, go on to the next one. Really lift those arms backwards. I'm gonna show you from the side again. Be aware of your space. Fantastic, okay. We're now gonna work on our chest. And again, just like our shoulders, there's three main parts that we can work on. So we're gonna try and have two different grips to start with, and then we're gonna try one which is a bit lower. So we're gonna put our hands to the side as if we're pushing a force away from us. Again, be aware of your space, nice and tight with our hands. Push, 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 as many as you can. And then we're gonna pull our elbows out, hands wider, and now we're gonna to push to the side. Okay, so we're gonna get those sideways motion out as if you're pushing that wall again and try and push back. And this is the type of thing that actually, if you have a wall, it looks like a standing push up, you can push off of the wall and you can work on your chest there at the same time. So we're gonna go front, so that inward grip, and then we're gonna go out. So if our hands are to the side again, fantastic. And our last one, we're just gonna put our hands slightly lower, but we're still gonna push forwards forwards, forwards, fantastic. Okay, let's try those three again, ready? Let's go, as many as you can, as many as you can. Remember, if you've not got any weight, you want to get lots of repetitions. If you've got a weight that you're holding, you could slow this down and maybe do six to eight of them. Now we're gonna go wide. But if we've got no weight, lots of repetitions will help you trying to really make sure that you're growing, developing that muscle nice and low now, pushing forwards again. Fantastic, lots that you can do in your outdoor gym. Lots of stuff that's for free. So take a break, get off your device for a minute. I bet you're not sick and tired of hearing your grown-ups say that to you, but it's really good for you. It's really good to get yourselves feeling positive about yourselves and making sure that you guys are enjoying movement because the National Fitness Day slogan is your health is your life. It's very important. You only get one of you guys, so enjoy yourself. So as part of your daily allowance and your daily dose of exercise, it's really entirely up to you what you guys want to do. And, and we want you guys to be the driver with that. And that's really what our key message is with our Move With Us campaign is explore what works for you, whether that's running around in the park, whether that is kicking a football around with your friends, playing frisbee with your dog outside, doing things that work for you that tick that box. And we're still at the park and I'm gonna do some exercises that work for me. So we're just gonna do some lower body work now. We're gonna do some squats to start with, really good for that base, all the way from our glutes, all the way down our legs. So we're just gonna jump into some squats now. We're gonna do 20, okay? Get yourselves ready, bend your knees, face your toes forward, off we go. Really try and get as low as you can and push your bottom as low as possible. And again, if you are feeling that these exercises aren't working for you as well, maybe actually grabbing a weight in front of you could be helpful or pushing off of the wall as you're doing that can help you stabilize yourselves as well. And of course, I've stopped counting. Try your best to do as many as you can. Okay, really, really good for you, these squats, really good if you play sport or if you don't. Very good for your mobility so that you can move around safely and freely. We're gonna try what we call fire hydrants now. A Little bit trickier now. We're gonna try and set ourselves off of one leg, place one leg on the ground, place one leg off the ground, bend that knee, and I'm gonna just push my body weight to the side. And notice what I'm trying to do with my hands. I'm not doing a silly dance, well, I might look like I am, but I'm just trying to stabilize myself and give myself balance. So I'm just trying to push my hands to the left as my leg goes to the right. And you can see sometimes you knock yourself off. Try and keep that leg bent. Again, really, really good these for all those tiny little muscles, all those tiny little bits around your knee. Also, power from your hamstrings as well. Okay, we're gonna do it off of the other side. And this is the bit that I'm gonna struggle with. Sometimes we're balanced well on one side and not so well on the other side. So this is obviously my non-dominant side, the one that I don't work on as much or don't naturally freely move with as well. 
So try as many of those as you can. If you need to take a break, do. Or what you can do is actually just put your leg down in between just to stabilize yourself again. Okay, if you wanna go back onto the other side, you can do a few more of our fire hydrants. Good, two more. Good, and back onto that other side again. Remember that knee's bent, pushing off of those hamstrings again. Good for your hips as well, trying to make sure you're stabilizing yourself as you go. Two more. Excellent, okay. A bit younger than me, so you may need to shake those muscles off as much as I do. But anyway, we're gonna finish off by imagining we're just seated now and we are pushing a weight in front of us. So this is working on our quads here, our quadricep muscles, big muscles above our knees. So we're gonna try and go down on one leg and push that leg up straight. Hold yourselves out for balance if you want. As many as you can on each. Really extend that leg. Higher you can get it, the better. Try to make sure that stabilizing leg is as strong and as straight as possible. Push that leg nice and high. So we're pushing off with our quads. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can hold it and bring it back down again. You can hold it and bring it back down again. Fantastic. Now, I hope you've enjoyed our little warm up, our start to National Fitness Day. And I hope maybe it encourages you to get thinking about your local area or what works for you. And as I said, Move of Us is about exactly that. I can see and hear around me many different ways that people move. You could be kicking a football around, you could be going on your bike. You know what? You could get yourselves one of our YouTube videos at home on the Active Essex YouTube channel and actually have a go at one of those. So, thank you very much for joining us today and I hope you guys have a wonderful National Fitness Day and enjoy our Move of Us campaign. <laughs>